Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be giving you the reasons for the rise in price of Bitcoin and the resistance that is up against right now. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video, it's going to be very good and let's start with the reasons for this rise because it's been, it was a very quick one indeed wasn't it? Uh, obviously from, this is from my perspective but I have been trading this very well so uh, take this as you will. Uh, so in my in my viewpoint, the reason for this rise was the swing failure pattern of the low. So this is obviously a bullish swing failure pattern. And so in reply to, to this guy saying, how is it, you know, obviously say bullish swing failure. How is it bullish? The reason it's bullish, my friend, is because when you take the low here, when you take the low, okay, so this is a 23 long day consolidation period. So 23 days of consolidation, you come, you t take the low, you close back above it. So the you know, the sign was obviously coming in at around 6,550. My long, I did wait for a bit more confirmation. So I did get in my long average fill of 6,600. So 6,600 was where I took my long. Okay, to trade basically the bullish swing failure pattern and I was looking for the targets uh, as mentioned in the last video still that CME futures gap which was at uh, 7,260 wasn't it? So obviously we, we smashed through that target in the end and I'll show you exactly where we came to resistance in a second uh, but you know this was... <clears throat> The update I was giving my group where, you know, I was after for this CME futures gap and that was obviously around 7240, 7260, this region. And obviously we went straight through that. OK, so where did we actually go through to the end? OK, I'll show you this because it's lovely. It really, really is. So you can see here the 200 exponential moving average. So the 200 exponential moving average did hold price to the exact dollar. OK, so you can just see the importance of these EMAs. You can see prior here, support, resistance, resistance actually coming back into support here. Specifically, the top yesterday was at that 200 exponential moving average. And this is why every single day I do give to the players, contenders and spectators, uh, no, players, contenders and champions, sorry. You know, every day I do these trading updates where I include the EMA levels because for me they are, as you can see here, very important levels to be aware of. Uh, so that's basically why, why I include that in my trading updates every day um, for examples like this. So we can see that resistance coming in of that still 7480, uh, 7063 is support. Um, so, you know, we can clearly see we're, we're range bound between these two EMAs currently. OK, um, so now moving on, how have I traded this since then? OK, so since we got that high, uh, I done yesterday entered into a short position last night at 7315 being the point of control. 7315. This was after the big five minute up and down wick that we got. 7315 was a, a short that I took with my stop loss at 7427. Okay, so we can see that did trade out very nice because obviously entering into short rounds here, we got a little rise a little bit higher to around 7371. Obviously, stop loss not hit and a decline this morning. Okay, and this decline did come into my first take profit, which was 7,050. Obviously, very similar to why I ended that long yesterday. Uh, very similar reasonings uh, because, um, you know, again, you come down, you take the low of the wick and then you get the reaction to the upside. Um, so, you know, similar to that yesterday, if I'm honest. That was the reason for my first take profit. Um, and now that leaves me on to how I'm trading this right now. Okay, so obviously... I am actually just scalp trading this right now. So scalp trading I refer to as, you know, on the very low time frames, three, five minute charts, um, just day trading. So I've got an example here on my main account. I've already taken profits on this one, but I kept it open on this account just to show you some of the precision that I can have when scalp trading. OK, so you can see here the scalp that I took this morning um, coming on an hour ago now was entered at the exact dollar high. OK, so the exact dollar high I managed to get in on that scalp trade. OK, and that's just like, obviously, when you're scope trading, you have to think, you know, where are we aiming for targets? Clearly, old resistance. You can see how, you know, it's coming in here. Old resistance here. I'm trying to click on this to show you. <laughs> old resistance. OK, flips to support. You get a secondary bounce. And obviously, on my main account, I have already locked in profits. I kept this one open just to actually show you, um, yeah, basically the precision that I can get on these trades. Hitting, you know, hitting the resistance, coming down to support. Looks like we're getting a little bit of a triangle play out here. Maybe possibly a channel triangle type thing before we get a bigger break occur. But, you know, these are, you know, a few trades that you can be having in the meantime. And uh, this is the thing. You don't want to get greedy when you're scope trading. And, you know, if you can make a quick 1%, that's absolutely brilliant trades. Uh, especially if you're trading with size, like I do. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the gains, that's all That's all you need. That really is all you need. You know, 0.5% is 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 absolutely brilliant when you are a scope trader. 
Okay, um, I have some comments like, I've grown this account pretty fast, but you have to think, uh, so I'm a little bit cheating, I will admit, I'm a little bit cheating, I suppose, of how I've managed to grow this, this is the challenge account so fast, but what I have is a program now that will copy the trades, obviously adjusting position size, but it copies the trades that I take on my main account, and it will automatically, well actually it's not automatic, I have to press a button, but it will take the same trades on... Um, on this challenge account. So I feel it's a little bit cheating because I have grown this maybe too quick. <laughs> this was sitting at one Bitcoin not, not too long ago. Uh, so I've, I've grown this fast, but I feel it's a little bit cheating. So maybe I will take off this program and, and only do the, only do the trades, not copy ones off my main account. But I still, it's me taking the trade at the end of the day, but uh, yeah, who knows? I'll, I'll see how 2020 comes. Uh, but yeah, no, I just wanted to keep this one just to show you, you know, because some people, you might have times I've, I've heard people say, oh, you know, the one minute chart, you can't trade the one minute chart, you can't trade the five minute chart, it's all noise, it's all random. Well, I think this was an, a, a brilliant example of it's totally not random. There's no way that you can guess one dollar to the exact high, enter a trade. And, you know, envisage where it's going to find support, okay? And obviously you can see the old resistance flipping into support there, getting lower, high, lower, high, lower, high, lower, low, lower, low. And, you know, so this is moving as one would expect, if I'm honest. So, you know, there's examples of, you know, you can trade any time frame. Technical analysis works across them all. Uh, it's all at the end of the day about how much time you have on your hands. Obviously, I do a lot of swing trades as well. Well, I'll, I'll happily hold the position, you know, one, two weeks, a month. Uh, and then I also do the day trades. I do it all but and that leaves me on to what are we what are we expecting next, okay? So on the, at the moment, I'm literally just sculpt trading. And this is the thing. I'll happily sculpt this up and down. So, you know, I, I hold no bias. And I think that's an advantage for myself in trading. Because I literally don't care whether price goes up or whether price goes down. For me, it makes no difference. I will happily trade it in any direction. If I'm totally honest with you, I literally couldn't care whether this go, if it goes up or down. I'll trade it anywhere. And this is where a lot of people lose out, in my opinion, because they have such a bias to one side. They don't want to be wrong. They'll only, you know, they're just full on bull or full on bear. And, you know, I do a lot of my trades in and out, in and out, long, short, long, short. You know, that, that I think that's an advantage, in my opinion, because you see yesterday, for an example. OK, so you see coming up at the highs, you're seeing like 44 million trapped up, up at the highs. So you just it's just like people market buying at the very top of the move. You know, they wake up the next morning, they're down 5%. So you just have to be really careful. If you, if you have that FOMO while you're trading, you need to totally lose that and, and just trade what's given to you. You know, lose the FOMO. It's, it's never going to work out. Um, but yeah, moving on. Uh, what I would say is if bulls, bulls really need to hold the low of the day, which is 7,030. Okay, so if bulls can hold that, you know, obviously the EMA that we got there, low of the wick of the day. If bulls can hold 7,030, one would look for a push up to the point of control again, 7,315. If 7,315 is, is, is taken as support, we can look for the push up to our next weekly 7,512. So that is the bullish scenario. I really do think they need to hold the low of the day, 7,000, exactly 7,000. Uh, 7034 so bulls really are going to fight to hold that um if if they lose that then we're gonna i would expect if i'm honest a quick 100 dollar drop straight to our next weekly and as you can see here so this is the precision that i get off of these levels so you can see here the old weekly yesterday exact resistance again to the dollar drop the curve coming up testing it again drop and you know you get like an ascending triangle so ascending triangle breaking through funnily enough then we had a symmetrical triangle again continuation to the upside so triangles trading very nice. But, uh, you know, if you lose this level, you would first envision support because old resistance flip to support. But it's reaching a point where bulls really don't want to. I really think for bullish case, you want to hold this low. OK, I'm talking short term time frames, short term perspective. But I really think bulls do not want to lose the low of the day. If next they have the second chance at the weekly, but a loss of the weekly. And, and this is going to get pretty uh, quick advancement to the downside again, in my opinion. And again, so important levels for me, 7,315 and 7,512 as resistance, support 7,030 to 6,902. That is the range I'll be trading over the next few days. Um, and yeah, no, that, that's exactly what I'll be doing. Um, so I guess I will end with, you know, if, if you want these sort of live updates of the levels I'm looking for and, you know, exactly how I'm trading this, then, you know, you can come across and join us at Chart Champions. That's a decision only you can make. Um, but yeah. I think this has been, you know, trading pretty well. It's actually been trading technically 
I want to say perfect, but, you know, it's just been trading technically very, very well indeed. You know, levels respected to, you know, the dollars we've seen there. You know, for example, three examples, a dollar respect of the weekly. We had the dollar expect to the four to the four hour exponential moving average dollar respect even on the scope trade. So that that's from the four hour down to the down to the one minute. You're getting respect to the exact dollar. OK, so it's you know, it is a really, really technical market at the moment. So I'm absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give this quick update, uh, explain how I'm trading this, what I'm looking at. And uh, yeah, just final words to end, I guess, is don't hold a bias. Just just don't hold the bias while you're trading. Just just be open to to, to just, just think, you know, it doesn't matter where Bitcoin goes. Um, you know, you might think, oh, Bitcoin's going to go up because of the halving. Just, just just ignore everything else. Just just trade what's happening on the chart. Mark your levels and, and you will find that, you know, it, the money comes sort of naturally. You don't have to try too hard for it. OK, uh, that, that's all I'll end with those final words. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you have, I would thoroughly appreciate a like. Um, and yeah, thank you once again, everybody. It's only about 12 a.m. here. So uh, I guess enjoy the rest of your day at 12 p.m. Sorry, coming up. <laughs> uh, enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. <laughs> I need to probably get some sleep. Uh, thank you once again. And yeah, just have a great day. Cheers and goodbye. Thank you.